everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Lindsay and this is my daughter. Say Remington. Remington, but you can call her Remy. And today we are here to show you how to make bath bombs. Bath bombs, that's right. Simple, easy, fun to do with a child. You're gonna need a bowl, a whisk, a spoon, and then you do need a couple ingredients. I'll have everything posted into my description below. And this is totally optional. Your bath bombs can stay white or you can buy coloring. And Remy picked purple today. So we're gonna add purple coloring and essential oil if you want them to smell. So not necessary, but we're gonna pick lavender because lavender is usually purple, so you'll need 10 to 15 drops of your essential oil, okay? Oh, and you'll need your molds too, which I'll show you how to use. Okay, should we get started? Yeah. Okay, all right. Starting with our cup of baking soda, go nice and slow, it's gonna explode. And a half of cup of the citric acid. Okay, you want to whisk all of these together here. And we need a half cup of Epsom salt. Keep go ahead, a little bit more. Whisking that together. And a half cup of cornstarch. A little bit more there. Mix it all together there, whisk and it. And then if you are going to add your coloring, you'd want to add it now since it is a dry ingredient. You can add as much or as little as you want and I am sure we are going to add in the whole bag because we're a toddler and we think it's fun. So we'll make it nice and purple. I'm gonna go ahead and mix all of that up in there so you have a nice, even color. Nice and slow, stirring it in. There we go. <laughs> okay, so after you have your color all mixed in there, nice and even, and everything looks uniform, you want to add your wet ingredients very slow. We have two and a half tablespoons of coconut oil and three-fourths tablespoons of water. You want to melt the coconut oil first. And then you want to add your water. Go ahead, add your water. Add your water into your melted coconut oil. And add your, if you are using your essential oils, you want to go ahead and add your essential oils into the water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's good, about 10 to 15 drops. You want to make sure that's nice and mixed. Yep. Boop. And then you want to add your wet ingredients into your dry ingredients very slowly. Because the citric acid with the wet ingredients is what creates that reaction. And if you get too much fizz, you probably won't have as much fizz in the bath. But when you're doing it with a toddler, you're probably going to have some fizz. So it's okay. Just Pour it in slow and mix it together. And this is where I switch from my whisk to my spoon. 
Go ahead and let it pour that in there. Make sure you see. Get it all Get throughout. Full color. And after that's all stirred, you want to make sure it clumps so up. Nice. Clumps up. Like this. Yep. Like it's gonna go in your mold. Yeah. And you have everything all mixed up. So you fill the mold. Filled on the other one. And once it starts to get pretty full, you want to go ahead and pack it in there. Yeah, pack it in there. Packing it in there. Yep. Fill the other half. And it's okay if you don't have these little fancy spoons. You could just use your hands. You can use your hands, that's right. Another color, yeah. Let these sit for about a minute. two halves together. But they might not go. stay together though. Here we go. And you can set them together. Here, mommy. And they have to dry like this for 24 hours. Yep. Hold on. We'll do that one next. Give them a little tap, holding them together. And then usually, maybe they come out together. Maybe you have to do them separately. Not be perfect, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. That's right. We got that one to come out. This one's being a little stubborn in there. Leave it dry for. Twenty four hours. There we go. There we go. So sometimes, see, they might come out separate. Oh, I don't want to touch them too much. And then you can just join them together. These have to sit like this oh, for 24 hours. So not letting little toddler hands come over and poke them. They have to sit undisturbed for about 24 hours. You can already tell these are starting to get much, much harder and more compact. So you don't want to leave them in the molds too long, about a minute and then you form your balls, your spheres, and we let the balls sit, and then we'll hop back on tomorrow, and we'll show you how you can store them, how you can give them out as gifts, and how you use them in your bath. All right, thanks for watching. Um, bye. Bye. And today I picked this pretty pink. You know it looks sparkly, but it's not actually sparkly. My mom doesn't have sparkly and I have water and we're gonna pour the water into the coconut water. And we're gonna pretend. I mean we're not gonna pretend it's real. So today and I'm gonna do purple. I mean pink. So I'm gonna pretend what like when I pour pretend the the pour this in I like like just I mean I'm not gonna really pretend it's just I have oil to do. I'm not gonna like I'm just like one two three Count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, 
Falling apart, Ram. And I use a wooden spoon to mix it glitter. And then I use this big pink one. Then I use this one. I just keep using this wooden. Ooh, look, Ram. Okay. But then they have to dry. This is very important. They have to dry for 24 hours. Oh no. 